We are joined by Tayeb al Rais, Secretary General at Alcaf and Miners Affairs Foundation. Many thanks for talking uh, with Reuters. Look, I'm going to start by asking you to describe uh, this, uh, this organization. I know that when you joined five years ago, very few people knew what it was. Tell us what it is. First of all, thank you for having me on the panel. Uh, on our set. On the set, yeah, sorry. I just came out of the panel, oh boy, enough of that. Uh, this organization was established in 2004 uh, by decree from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, uh, basically separating it from Islamic affair. And uh, the problem, well, the, the, the mess of Awqaf happened because the two were joined centuries ago. Now, one is a spiritual organization, one is a financial organization, and the two did not match, and one had to pay this price and suffered, which was the Oqaf. Where, where do you fit into this Islamic economy context and sustaining its development? We don't fit in it. We are it. You are it. Waqf is the, the, the nucleus of Islamic economy. Islamic economy was founded on the back of the Waqf. But because Awqaf or Waqf died out due to the merge of Islamic affair and uh, uh, few other issues related to it, it died out and it trickled out. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go back to last century, Turkey had 450,000 Waqfs. 90% of it was turned back into to government. Mm -hmm. So they confiscated the Awqaf. So, so in, in return, what happened? People started losing faith about putting money for, for what? As I was saying when I came to this organization five years ago, media didn't want to talk to us yep. and uh, there was no interest. Uh, I personally believe in order for anyone to thrive and succeed, you need three elements. You need passion, integrity, and loyalty. Mm -hmm. Once you have these three elements, you can go and move mountains. Yep. And I heard you say as well on your panel, you've got the media as your most powerful ally, telling, helping tell your story. Well, Am I right in saying that? If it wasn't for media, I wouldn't be sitting here. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, how, how can it be a stimulus for growth in the finance industry? I mean, you've said, of course, it is part and parcel of, of sustaining the development. How, 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 where, where do you go now? Well, as an organization, uh, we first think, what do we need to support the society with? like what we did the Family Village or Salma project, or a project that we, in, in collaboration with the miners, built for the lesser income um, employees in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So we look at it from that perspective, we put a plan together, and then we'll go and sell it. Like, mm -hmm. you sell it like anything else. Yeah. I know some people don't believe it, but I believe in it. I have done it. I have, it's, it's the only way. It's selling, selling a, a property or selling a walk it's just like selling anything else. You have to be good at your job. You have to have the background and the knowledge to convince the person sitting in front of you to buy into it. I went to a gentleman's uh, office to sell him one unit. I came out with 17. Right. Okay. Fair, yeah. Well, that's a, yeah. That, that's a good example, I'm actually. I'm not telling you how much and how much. Yeah. <laughs> I went to one yeah. unit. I came out with 17 right. units. Um, Islamic finance, of course, isn't exclusive to, uh, to Muslims. Um, is uh, does Orkaf cater solely for Muslim communities? No, we don't. And uh, if you look at the project Salma, which is uh, a disaster, uh, we s distribute food in any disastrous area, whether it's man-made or it's natural. And our first motto is: we do not look at color, race, or religion. You, it's a lot of this is about empowering miners for for the future. Um, uh, this UA, this initiative for orphans and minors. What, what, what's the focus in that part of the project for you? Well, when we presented it, people thought we were crazy. And it's a dream. Where Tayyip is going to get 150 million dirham, where he's going to get the people, where he's going to get the mothers and fathers from you as UAE nationals to, to put that together. Uh, the idea was adopted by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in 2012, in the month of July. By uh, by May 17, 2013, we started the project. By end of 2014, we finished. And in February, we had the kids in it with the local mothers, local fathers, local aunts. And how, how many kids? 
Right now I have 20 kids. 20 kids. What, just to finish up with, what, what worries you or, or, or disappoints you? I, actually, let me stick with worries you about your future. Well, beside these 20 kids, I have another 2,564 kids at the organization because, as I said, we are very unique. We are Oqaf and Minor Affairs. These are the two, 20 that live in the village. My biggest fear is just like the biggest fear of any parent, failure of my children, and I cannot allow to do that. My job is to make a leader out of every child that I'm responsible for and make sure they become a productive member of our society. Well, I think it's a wonderful initiative, and I, I do wish you the best of luck. Tayeb uh, Arai, Secretary General at ALCAF, uh, joining us here for GIS uh, today. Uh, that is it for the first day. Plenty more tomorrow. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters. You need to come on and uh, do an interview at the village. I would love to. I would love to. Actually, if you take the...